In this video, I'll walk through our Canvas course of EPEL 7330 Law Policy and Governance. This is a summer course, which has only seven weeks, unlike our regular semester, which has 14 weeks. So each week in your summer semester, you'll cover two learning modules. Each learning module covers a chapter of our textbook. For example, chapter one is the introduction to education law, and the chapter two covers tort liability. So the learning schedule in summer semester is more intensive than the regular 14 week schedule. I made a note of dates that will be covering which chapter. For example, from June 3rd to 9th, we'll be covering chapter one and chapter two. For each learning module, also each chapter in our textbook, you will have instructional videos where I will introduce recent court cases. By recent, I mean over the last two years. So you'll have an up-to-date understanding of the core interpretations of some of the issues you encounter at work. For example, here is a case about a school employee sent out an email to 45 people in the school district and made a baseless accusation, and that email cost the school district at least $200,000. So the instructional videos cover up-to-date court cases that didn't go into our textbook. To complete each learning modules, you need to first read that chapter of the textbook and watch instructional videos that covers up-to-date court cases. And you will also complete a quiz. And each learning module's quiz has about five points or six points. We click this link and go into the quiz. You will see my instruction. There is no time limit for the quiz. The correct answer to multiple choice questions will appear after you complete the quiz. The last quiz question is usually a reflection question. I noted answers to reflection questions will be graded by the instructor using the criteria below. The answers to reflection questions have no word limit, but they should focus on demonstrating how you apply the knowledge you've learned to administrator's work. Even though I said there is no word limit, in your answers you have to provide specific examples and provide analysis of the implications of applying those knowledge and make recommendations and demonstrate your critical thinking. In the past, I had students who wrote a very short answer because I said there is no word limit, but the answers didn't meet this criteria. So as you answer the reflection question in the quiz, make sure that your answer meet those criteria. Let's go back. Each week we cover two learning modules. That means you need to complete two quizzes. In this semester, we also have a discussion board. It's showing up in learning modules of chapter 11, 12, 13, and emerging issues. If you go to assignment, you also see our online discussion, school board meeting reflection, initial post, and here online discussion, board meeting, and reflection. Why do I have two section slots here? because our online discussion has two sections. I set up initial post here. Your initial post is due on July 14, and you'll have another week to respond to your classmates' discussion posts. I set up two sections in assignment, so it will show up on your assignment due dates. If you click initial post, you'll see that this is just a placeholder your initial post for school board meeting and reflection is due on July 14th and follow this link to read the assignment description and post your initial response to the prompt. So follow this link and make your discussion post there. These are the details for this assignment. It's the same language in the syllabus and this is where you post your answers and respond to your classmates' posts. One thing I need to mention, all right, Let's take the quiz. This is where you select your answers. To answer the last question, I suggest you first type out your answers in the Word document and copy and paste here, and then submit your quiz. 
in the past, we had a student type of the answers here, and then something happened on Canvas, they lost their answers. So it's a good practice to type out your answers in a Word document and save it as a backup, just in case you lose your answers somewhere. All right, this is the course structure on Canvas. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.